If you follow DeFi, you probably have heard of flash loans. With flash loans, you can borrow huge amounts of money on the Ethereum blockchain without any collateral. And you can use this money to make more money with arbitrage or liquidations. But you might not know that there are several flash loan providers. There is Aave Protocol, the original creator of flash loans, but there are also other DeFi protocols that also provide flash loans. They each have their pros and cons, and you need to know them if you want to create profitable flash loans. So in this video, I'm going to introduce the three main flash loan providers and explain their pros and cons. And before we continue, I have a free training for mastering flash loans. So go register on this address to grab your copy. Aave is a lending protocol. You can borrow and lend tokens on the platforms. In early 2020, they came up with the idea of flash loans and ultimately they became mostly known for flash loans, even if it's not their main product originally. It's also important to know that the first real flash loan ever made on the Ethereum blockchain was with Aave. So they have a special place in the flash loan ecosystem. On a pro side, they have a large choice of asset to borrow from. Ether is provided directly and it's quite easy to integrate as they have a good documentation and they even have a truffle box, which is a template you can use to quickly create your own flash loan. On the con side, they charge 0.09% fee for each flash loan and you can use an Aave flash loan to do an arbitrage on Aave itself. And we'll see later how these pros and cons compare to other flash loan providers. And the next flash loan provider we're going to see is DYDX. DYDX is a decentralized exchange for advanced traders. It has some advanced features like margin trading and what they call perpetuals. Basically synthetic assets that can track the performance of other assets like Bitcoin. DYDX also provides flash loans, but not many people know about it because it's a bit hidden. Why is that? First, we need to understand how DYDX works. In the smart contracts of most decentralized exchanges, they have entry points or function in their Solidity code for the different actions you can take. For example, there is a function for depositing tokens, another function to withdraw tokens, another function to buy tokens, etc, etc. This poses a problem because traders have to send several transactions to be able to do just one trade and it costs more money in transaction fees. It's possible to solve this problem with what we call meta transactions. With meta transactions, you can do several transactions in a single transaction. DYDX has built-in meta transaction capabilities. With DYDX, there is just one entry point to interact with its smart contract. So no matter which operation you want to do, buy, sell, deposit tokens, you always call the same solidity function. When you call this function, you will define a set of action you want to take. For example, you can package together three actions, deposit tokens, trade, and withdraw tokens. And with that, you can complete the whole process in a single Ethereum transaction. An interesting detail is that balances are only checked at the end of a transaction after all the action have been completed. A consequence of that is that you can withdraw as many tokens as you want, regardless of your actual balance on the exchange. Another interesting detail is that there is a general action that they have named the call action. With this action, you can execute the function of any spot contract on the Ethereum blockchain outside of DYDX. So here's how you would build a flash loan on DYDX. You will need to combine three actions in a single transaction. First, with the withdraw action, you can withdraw a lot of tokens more than what you have in your balance. Then with the call action, you can execute an arbitrage on the Ethereum blockchain by calling any DeFi protocol you want, Uniswap, Kyber, etc. Finally, with the deposit action, you reimburse the tokens you borrowed 
and you are done. The flash loan is completed. So now, what are the pros and cons of DYDX? On the pro side, DYDX has no fee. That's really huge. And with DYDX flash loan, you can use the flash loan money for arbitrage on DYDX itself. On the con side, you get some wrap ether instead of just ether from the flash loan. It's a little bit less convenient to manipulate than directly ether. DYDX is a bit complex to integrate with their system of actions, and they don't really have a good documentation for the hidden flash loan feature. And in terms of the currency you can borrow, it's a bit limited. Okay, so now you understand the DYDX flash loan feature. That was a little bit complex, but for the next flash loan provider we are going to see, Uniswap, it's going to be more simple. Uniswap is one of the most popular decentralized exchange in DeFi. Uniswap recently upgraded to Uniswap V2N. As part of the update came a new feature called Flash Swap. Flash Swap is essentially Uniswap term for their flash loan. In Uniswap, when you want to buy tokens on a platform, you first send them the token used for your payment. And after, you call a function called Swap which will send you the tokens that you just purchased. The important thing is that you can forget to send your payment tokens and first receive the token you purchased before paying. Once you have received these tokens, you can use them in whatever way you want. For example, you can use them to do some arbitrage on Uniswap itself or on any other DeFi protocol. And after your arbitrage, you have to finally send the payment tokens to Uniswap. And if you don't, of course, the whole transaction fails. So what are the pros and cons of Uniswap? On the pro side, Uniswap can provide Ether instead of wrap Ether from the flash loan. You can use Uniswap flash loan to trade on Uniswap itself or on any other DeFi protocol. The choice of asset available for flash loans is huge as you can use one of the many Uniswap pairs. On the con side, there is a 0.3% fee for each flash loan with Uniswap, exactly like for the regular trades. So after hearing about all of these different flash loans, Aave, DYDX and Uniswap, the big question is which one to choose? And that's what we are going to see Next. If you want to borrow ETH, DAI or USDC, I would go with DYDX because it's the only flash loan provider that does not charge a fee. If you want to access more currencies, I would go with Aave. And if you want to access more currencies and use the money to do an arbitrage on Aave itself, I would use Uniswap because with Aave flash loans, you cannot trade on Aave. And now the next step is to create your own profitable flash loan. And to learn how to do this, go register to my free training on flash loans on my website, eattheblocks. I'll see you there.